I don't know what to say. <laughs> I love seeing the comments like, oh, that guy's awesome, or he's the sh you need to bring him back more. First comment right below the pinned one. Zip ties and bias plies. You got a face for video, big guy. I feel you. <laughs> Brandon. Nerd alert. Nerd. Fucking geek. What are you talking about, bud? The hat never moved once. Shane Foster, 6018. Oh my god, they're starting a ginger army. Do I sound like Ricky to you guys? The camera guys? Legit question. Fuck you guys. Get your sticker packs, fortishd.com. They're available now. 50-50, sometimes I swear a lot and Josh has his work cut out for him. The truck tour, holy f that was hilarious. I counted the beeps. I lost track after 55. I blacked out, I was too f***ing drunk. Any tech of my merch, fortishd.com. That's the only place you're gonna get it. Welcome to my office. I don't know, you guys have never seen this before. Mostly because it's new, I guess. <laughs> so we just moved in here, so. I'm an armchair mechanic. I'm just like you guys in the comments. I guess we'll reply to a few since I have so much time now that I'm an office guy. I just sit and obsess over all the comments on our videos. Dean, what does Dean say? Oh, I, I like your guys' comments, by the way. Like, I always go around and like them all. Just like, I mean, not all of them, but most of them. If I like them, I like them. So if you just get like a random like, that's me. There you go, bang, there you go, bang. You like that one too. Bang, bang. Where's some, give me some more to like. Mm, mm, mm. Oh no, not you. A lot of thanks for this HD shout outs. Ah, <laughs> cocaine! <laughs> ah, if you spend money with us, we'll make more Tecmo content. For this HD, we sell rubber tracks, Rotex, bearings, starters, alternators, oil, anything for your piece of equipment. Reach out, joshd at fortishd.com or parts at fortishd.com. You don't have to deal with just me if you don't like me. Give us more money so we give Tecmo more money. Without us, Tecmo doesn't have money. <laughs> they should have never given us money. <laughs> I feel like I am so annoying at work, but Cam gives my ego reassurance that I am funny. Uh... I don't know what to say. <laughs> what do you, what, I don't get it. I don't get it. What do you mean? That's why I worked by myself for so long. So I became a field guy. The people have to put up with me. Sometimes I wonder if I am annoying by design or do I choose to be, you know what I mean? I know I too many managers. That's probably the biggest thing. The shop guys love it. <laughs> All the, all the mechanics, we love each other, man, but the management doesn't like you. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, this one's a good one. Steve D, 5955. Thanks, Tecmo and Fortis HD for finding the most funny down-to-earth guys to watch during my lunch break. See, now there's only one problem with that comment. Why is it just your lunch break? I agree with Cam. If you're in a union shop, go find a nice quiet corner, get your fucking data plan upgraded, and watch the videos on the clock, man. What are they going to do, f fire you? They can't. They're f***ing union. You're protected. They can't fire you. And even if they did, file a grievance. Them. Thanks, Brad. Lots of thanks, Brads. So thank you guys for thanking Brad. It's really great to see these guys grow their channel and expand their spectrum. What the f is that supposed to mean of stuff they get to work on? I see. I don't really turn down work because of what it is always. I don't know, what am I trying to say? I turn down lots lots of work here and there, but like, there's nothing really we won't kind of take on or at least try. I mean, as you saw with the boat and with the paving gear, the kind of oddball stuff that we've worked on here and there. And a lot of times we work on stuff that no one else kind of wants to. We get a call for somebody saying, oh, I've called a few other people and they either can't figure this out or they don't want to work on it because you know it's it's too complicated or it's too weird it's some weird piece of equipment or something so we end up saying yes to a lot of stuff so yeah no we work on a lot of different stuff i mentioned in the episode like boats aren't new to me just clean boats are kind of new to us try anything once oh if you had to cut the bushings out so wesley cooper 26 47 if you had to cut the bushings out why would it need to be line board 
I cut the bushings out because I'm fucking lazy. I probably could have knocked them out, except I don't feel like fucking swinging a hammer that hard that late in the day. We cut the bushings out of that machine there because afterwards I did it when the guys left. I took my snap gauges and measured the stick nose. I had a thou of crush, and in the video, I believe I measured it, it was a three and a half or four and a half inch bearing. So I was two to three thou short on my crush. It would have been fine. I could have slammed it back together. It would have been fine to run, but we wouldn't get the longevity out of it. And that's what we were shooting for as a mechanic is, I want this thing to go another 10,000 hours. I don't want it to go another 2,000 hours and have an issue and be back in their kits taking more of the customer's money, which is great. And it makes my bank account look better, but I want a long-term customer. I want him making money so he can pay me when he has to. My concern for these guys, and there's a guy on TikTok, and I, I don't agree with a lot of his principles, but I do agree with one thing. The people we work for, our main priority as a contractor, and I'm pretty sure Cam will agree, these guys have to make money. Their does not make money sitting in a backfield or my yard or Cam's shop while I'm working on it. They're not making money. They're not generating revenue. They don't have a way to pay us. They have a bank account. That's how they're paying us. They make money with these things out working. So if we do the repair properly, it can then go a very long time without breaking down again or having to do the job again. That's what we're trying to do. That's why I had it line board is I didn't have enough crush to be confident that it could go another 8,000 hours and not create an issue for my customer. That's why we line board. It's to get the repair as permanent as possible and as effective as possible. That way this guy can go to work and make money and not have to worry about his stick nose and H-Link wearing out again. So that's why we did it the way that we did it. That's why I had it line board. Wesley Cooper, 2647. No, it was 47. YouTube troll account of Tyler Crawford is 69. Oh, I know it's impossible, BC, British Columbia. The quality of these videos are epic, but wish there was one every week. Yeah, me too. Love this channel, guys. Great work. They probably would have to be picked up by a network for their capital, but the quality and content would change. Hell yeah, it would change. You think, you know, we ended up like, like, or, or, or something like that. Yeah, it would, it would change. It'd be fake. Like, that's the big thing with our channel is, and I know we say it a lot, but like, the jobs are real. Yeah, like, obviously we were editing it. Like, it's got to be edited. You don't want to watch a an eight-hour video, do you? Maybe some of you do. I wouldn't. Um, I don't want a ton for that. It's all f***ing Lord of the Rings. Jeez. <laughs> Brandon. Nerd alert. Nerd. F***ing geek. We'd love to put more content out. I'll tell you guys our biggest hurdle is, uh, well, one of them pretty obvious. It's not always easy to get jobs filmed. It kind of sets a bit of a, when, when I go to a job site, especially in like, here's the, the thing, the coolest jobs that we do day to day, we don't even get to film a lot of times because it's some sort of catastrophic failure and the customer, okay, they don't have time for us to get the crew, like, because we do have a bit of a camera crew, like we get two guys usually, or, you know, sometimes we have one shooter, sometimes we have two shooters, two active shooters, not a lot of planning, but you know, it is a bit, the guys are like, the Tecmo media team are like f***ing great for just jumping and going at a moment's notice. I've called these guys like 11 o'clock at night the night before and I'm waking up at like 4 in the morning and go, Hey man, I got this job. You want to come and do it? Okay. What time? 4 a.m. Okay. <laughs> and, and like then they jump and they go. That's something that I, you don't even get out of your own employees sometimes. You know, and they're willing to like jump and go because they get that like the jobs we're doing, it's on call, it's on like, you know, we can't plan it. So very rarely, like out of a hundred jobs I do, I might be able to get one or two recorded, but so many of them would have been so good to, to show you guys and film. It's just, I can't ask for all of them. It puts my customers in an awkward spot sometimes too, depending on the job site, depending on safety, depending on a lot of things. Sometimes it even comes down to just some people don't want to show their stuff broke down. You got to look at it from the customer's perspective. Do you want to show your machine having a catastrophic failure? Yeah, we blur the names out, but it's pretty obvious on some customers that, oh, that's so-and-so's <laughs> branding and this and that. Only, only, only that company does this on them, you know, or like the site or something is, is obvious. So people will pick up on that. It's just one of those things. Some customers like to be very, not secretive, but like 
a little more protective of things like that. Some of our customers are really understanding and like if anyone, anyone that knows the industry knows like equipment will break. It doesn't matter if it's a brand new machine or not. And we like to showcase like the real side of it. We'd love to give you guys more. It is just a bit of a tricky thing for us to get content. Right. So, um, yeah, that's, that's part of it. I don't go to every customer asking them, Hey, can I film on site? If you're in the area and you want us to do a job, or if you, if you have a job coming up and you're a mechanic and you want to film, like you can reach out to them. What is it? Media at .com. Cause we, like you can be on the channel just as much as me. So if you got videos you want, you know, or if you got a job you want to invite us on, sure. Great. Cool. You know, just like Brad, Brad reached out to us. He said he's got a job. He wants us to, to do it and he wanted it on film. Right. So that's one of those things. If you guys want to see more content and you help us get it, like that's even better. The other way you guys can help, obviously the shameless plug, but like Fortis HD buying stuff on the website, on their website, cause they sponsor us, helps us uh, fund the videos too. Right. That's one of the, one of the other ways support them. If you buy parts already for equipment, buy it through Fortis or call Josh at Fortis. And Josh is a phenomenal parts guy who knocks it out of the park with us all the time. And I mean, he's quick and he, he knows where to look for parts, oddball stuff too. That's what I use them for all the time. But anyways, support Fortis that supports the channel. Mad Rhetoric. Anyone know what kind of coveralls this guy is wearing? I need some for work. That's a local coverall company. I don't know if they'll ship to you. The Drunken Master, 1787, he has a great personality, very likable guy. Yeah, same thing I tell the girls that I'm out dating, you can't sleep with personality, so sometimes it's not that important. She's got a lovely personality. I'm not gonna f her personality though. Please make more videos with this guy. NRX Havoc. Well, we're trying. They have me doing stuff with beer bottles now. It might be naked in the next one. It'll be just big blur on the screen running through a field naked. Braden Bartz, 9309, when you're such a hardcore, heavy duty man, your snap-on tools get abused like fucking Mastercraft. You made it. It's not a, you know necessarily abusing tools. It's finding different uses for tools to get the job done. Sorry, I'm thirsty. Like I told you guys, the crest wrench is double as a heel bar. And a beer opener. Zorth. What's up, Zorth? Amazing video. Amazing video as always. Great work. Rockin' the boat, Cam. And Carson, the absolute cylinder, Chad. Is there a Chad in the comments too? Hey, do these guys have merch or anything? I'd love to buy a hat and Reptec HD. Potter Mac 3442. They do have merch. You just gotta win a draw. Or give Brandon a reach around. I mean. I, I mean, I don't know how I got my Tecmo merch. Oh, and there's Terry Baker. Hey, Terry, great video. Never did a boat before. Looks time consuming, but interesting. Be more like Terry. Yeah, it was interesting. Time consuming. Actually, that's, um, yeah, that's something should touch on. So I don't know if you guys noticed when you're watching the video, it starts out and it's daytime and it ends and it's night. That's a pretty simple job, really. Honestly, if it was in a shop, it probably would have taken me quite a bit less having tools right there and stuff. But, uh, I think the second day I picked up parts like later in the morning and we didn't get on the boat again till like, I think it was like noon. So yeah, that's why it looks like it, you know, we didn't start that early, but still when we do the job, there was a few times, well, a lot of times when we'd have to go back and forth through the truck and I had to park my service truck, you know, a good 10 minute walk up the, well, we have to go out up to the dock and then up the street and up to the parking lot. And hopefully by that point, we've remembered all that we need to grab, but you know, you, you guys ever, you go out from underneath your, whatever you're working on and you, you walk two seconds to your toolbox and you've already forgotten what you want. You ever have those moments? If you've spent any amount of time wrenching, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, oh, I gotta go grab a, a dead blow for that. You like roll out, you like get to your truck, and you're like, huh? Like, what, what did I want again? Oh, yeah, I wanted, uh, I wanted my flush cutters. I cut some zip ties, right? And then you get back underneath, you're like, God, I don't have my dead blow. I need my dead blow. Then you do it again. Oh, like, imagine that, but with a 10 minute, you know, 10, 15 minute walk, 20 minutes, like round trip every time. I got a lot more time to forget things. 
<laughs> so there's a few times I went out to the truck and I walked all the way out and I'm like, what else did I need to grab? I don't want to forget anything. So I grabbed more stuff that I'm like, you know, as I'm carrying this big bag of more than I think I need. Then I get down into the hole and right away back, like, I didn't bring this. That's what I wanted. How many times did that happen? Okay, well, let me do, let me just do as much as I can with what I got. And then like, I'll make another trip and hopefully not forget anything this time. So I would do that. And but I would be willing to bet there's at least an hour, probably almost two hours worth of just walking to get tools, grabbing them from the box and coming back down. Part of the job, like, you know, we can't park the truck any closer otherwise, you know, but how it goes, right? You try to get everything you can in one shot, but you're never going to bring it all. You know, the nice thing with the equipment that we work on is I pull right beside it and go and I grab something and, oh, I need this too. And I turn around and grab it out of the box and go back up. You know, working in a mill, I had my service truck at the far end of the mill and there was a shop space there. So I had the service truck set up in the shop and all that, and then be working. And then I'd have to get a call for like the boat or the cherry picker that was pulling logs out of the water. So load up a tool bag and just go. And after a while doing the same thing, you get an idea for what you need to bring with you. But the first time you're always like bringing way more, still forgetting something, going back, grabbing it again, you know, but the next time you get that call, you bring all the stuff that you know you need. It'd be nice to just be able to have everything there when you need it, but that's not reality. Yeah, that was Terry. Yeah, Terry Baker. Oz, Terry, thanks for the comments. You guys always comment. What the f is this? Brian Kent, 615. I'm excited to see more of Big Chief and Young Father Time. Big Chief has an amazing attitude, and Young Father Time is a good teacher. Kind of guys, kind of guy every apprentice hopes to have. Who's Big Chief and who's Young Father Time? I'm f curious now. Mr. Brian Kintz, you need to elaborate on that comment. Maybe I'm just some asshole hanging out in the background. No, I don't want to talk about that new guy. He hasn't even earned the right to be on the channel. The reason you glue the oil pan gasket to the block and not the pan is actually extremely important and vital. I can't believe you don't know this, but there is a pretty well known the purpose of gluing it to the block and not the pan so that it doesn't have it easier than you. Cause screw that guy, he has to be. I guess, yeah, because the next guy's going to be you, and you're already a salty c so why not double down? Yeah, I love to f*** myself over. I like to f*** future cam over. <laughs> Dean L, 2427, welcome, Tyler. Dude, you are friggin' hilarious. You're almost as cool as Cam. You f***ing asshole. Almost as cool as Cam. I'm cooler than Cam in other ways. Like, I'll stick my dick in a f***ing hot dog. Come on, man, you know when you grow up, you want to be just like Cam. Grow up, man. F***ing Cam hasn't done that either. So f*** off with the Eric Cartman voice. So cool. Uh, just playing. I actually can't wait to see more videos of Tyler. What a great addition to the channel. This is the best spot on YouTube. I'm actually pretty pretty proud to be here, guys. It is pretty cool. The guys have built a pretty awesome plethora of guys on here. It's pretty neat watching some of the videos now. I'll be honest, I didn't watch for the longest time until they brought me on for the tool truck tour. And now I do kind of sneak in the background and watch some of the videos. It's the stuff they're doing in the background that's got me interested in the most with these guys. They're trying to build the interest and show the fun side to wrenching instead of just looking like a greasy degenerate walking into the gas station or the grocery store at the end of the day stinking like hydraulic oil and you're getting a dirty old side eye. It's like, lady, how about you go yourself? Today I made more money than you have all month long. It's not to be an arrogant prick, which I am anyways. The blue collar trades will generate more money and stimulate more growth in the economy than a fucking desk worker will. And I'm not trying to bash people like that because we need everyone in this world to go make the world go round. But don't show a stigma towards the blue collar trades, especially to young children. Let them make their own choices. Let them make their own decisions in life. Who knows? They might turn out to be a hell of a mechanic and fucking be a wicked inventor. Don't know. Or he could be a fucking doctor and save someone's life. I don't know. Or he could go be a fucking street worker, work in Hastings Street. No one knows. No one will ever know. I'll support him. <laughs> <laughs> Wheeling and dealing. These guys are, are, are so entertaining to watch. Good on Cam for having the patience to work in such a small spot with the added stress of trying to keep the white interior clean while doing this project. Well, 
doesn't matter what color the interior is. Yeah. Yeah, good on me for having patience. You know what? Good on the editors for showing me, portraying me as having patience. Thanks, Jester. Big dick Jester. He's <laughs> dead. What the f? I ain't editing this sh. <laughs> Sorry, Jester. I swear Tyler's my spirit animal. No, I'm just some fat dude that likes to pull wrenches. That was from, uh, I have no fing had it. Faye Nerickson 5601. Can you guys get like some fing abbreviations so we don't look hard at reading these names? The phone's dusty. I can't read Buddy's name. I want to give this one a shout out though, just because he's a fellow mechanic or, or gear buster. Uh, four Black Man One it says, uh, Thanks, Tecmo and Fortis HG for the continuous motivation to keep busting my knuckles open. That's awesome to hear that because it gives me and Cam a really good feeling that we're doing something that's worthwhile, especially the Tecmo guys. It is really cool to hear that stuff because, uh, as we all know, it's not fun busting our knuckles open or splitting them open or fing dislocating your shoulder to get the job done. It's pretty cool hearing that stuff. I did a fair amount. The Saints are coming, he says. That's the name of this name. The Saints are coming. It's me, Saints. It's me, Saints. Uh, 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 uh. I'm coming. I did a fair amount of inbred diesel work and it usually wasn't too bad. What the f In board. In, in. <laughs> oh, for the paper gaskets, 3M Super 77. Yes. Yeah. Spider-Man jizz, we used to call that. Works pretty well, I'm told. Oh, you're told, so you haven't actually used it. I use um, the Loctite High Tack. It's red in a spray can. Comes out really nice. I use that stuff actually a lot of times. I don't, I don't think I had any on the truck, but uh, it's nice because it cleans up easy too. Any excess, you just use a little brake clean on a rag, it wipes off. So the spray can works a little better. The 3M Super 77 is like a contact adhesive. It's really sticky and you got like one shot to get your gasket in the right spot. Otherwise you tear it when you try to reposition it. I'm pretty sure that's, yeah, let's, let's jugle this. Super 77. Yeah, that's the stuff. It works okay. It's really sticky if you want to glue like, I think like headliners and stuff back together and stuff like that. But for gaskets, you'll spray it on, you let it kind of tack up. And then as soon as you touch the gasket, it's going to be stuck on there. So you got one shot to get it. I also prefer a wire wheel on gear covers to get the gasket maker off. Yeah, I don't mind the wire wheel, but I also try not to rub off too much of that uh, primer if I can avoid it. Like I like to keep the primer on the on the timing cover. So I usually can scrape them, scotch break them. Uh, Aquaman, okay. why no seal jokes in this video? Uh, it's because Cam wasn't touching himself. Luher1, thanks for another awesome video, guys. Amaze myself and the customer at the same time. I really do. Guys, my, I'm gonna be fucking honest. My background is commercial transport trucks. I worked on a fleet for nine years. I don't know fuck all about heavy equipment. I amaze myself every day. There's reason why I have a laundry list of contacts that I phone when I get into a pickle. People help me out a lot. But yeah, I amaze myself every fucking day I go to work on these goddamn things. Mike B 2063 we need a Cam, Tyler, and Peg video. It would probably break at least YouTube. Yeah, I'd probably break the pub too that we decided to go to because, uh, let's be honest, they'd run out of f***ing alcohol. Shane Foster, 6018. Oh my God, they're starting a ginger army. Ha 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 ha, you guys are awesome. Can't say enough. Great team of guys. Yes, yes, we are starting a ginger army. And if you guys want, submit your ginger pictures in the fucking comment section and we'll get stickers made up. That say ginger army for life. I take the moniker though, Captain Redbeard. Y'all can f off, that one's mine. I will sail the seven seas and f everyone. All right, back to the comment section. Brandon sent me that one explicitly. TMJPWNS. I don't know what your name stands for. But Carson, leave a bit of the rod out when you pull cylinders. It makes it easier to disassemble the cylinder for one and leaves a little more waggle room when installing. Well, I guess. You should call him and tell him that. Yeah, leave the rod out a little bit. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. We don't disassemble them most of the time. We just send it to the cylinder shop and move on to something else. And then when it comes back, it's ready to go and we throw it on. But it is a good tip if you are going to reseal it. Especially if you got to spin the rod or something when you're throwing it on. If you just pop the 
rod out a little bit. It helps you spin it. Otherwise, that nuts against the backside. I'm only answering to... F I like the fat guy. He was honest and funny. Which fat guy? We're all kind of fat in our own way. La La Land, Germany. What are details on that refetting kit and cabinet number three? John Stan Zion, 4406. You talking about the Nest kit? It's pretty f***ing handy. You can get it off Amazon or the Snap-on truck. Amazon was cheaper, but not as quick. We'll do a video showing you guys all the tools you had questions about. That's the second one after the dental drills. NBS Danny, 1558. I know where everything is after I find it. I love this guy. Yeah, I love me too. But dude, I know exactly where everything is. It's in the last place I'll look. I just gotta find it first. If only all cat mechanics were like him, the world would be a better place. Also, he needs a cowboy hat and some skull. That would be awesome. Diesel Crawler 86. I tried dipping, and then I realized I didn't like it because my lip got all burnt and stuff because it got all tingly, and I didn't like that feeling. And I do have a cowboy hat. I just let the girls wear it when they're doing extracurricular riding activities. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. You should try weather strip adhesive instead of 515. Sticks the gasket to the cover good and won't let it shift around like 515. I never had it leak. Okay, a leak. I never had it leak and had a fleet of these motors. What what motor? The starter motor? That's the only motor that was up there. Oh, you're talking about the engine. The engine motor. A fleet of these motors. That always bugs me when people call them motors. It's not a motor. It's an engine. And there is a difference. And I will die on that hill. Weather strip adhesive. Let's Google that. Yeah, I don't know. You can try it, I guess. There's a million different products you can use. All, somebody always have a suggestion, so thanks for the suggestion. I will ignore it. I appreciate it. I mean, if I'm out somewhere and I can't get the stuff I normally use, then I know I can use that. But honestly, every time we do a job or anytime you do anything, you're always going to have somebody say that, oh, I don't do that. I do this because it's better. And it's fine because I'm telling you that what I do is better. So, don't matter. I like 515 and 518 because it doesn't really harden. You know, the stuff that squeezes out, the squeeze out doesn't get all hard and stuff and just, it's soft, it stays soft inside. So you don't get like silicone squeezing out inside. Remember, silicone belongs in people, not engines. 515 is made for that kind of stuff, so why not? I'm a big Loctite product fan, so. I don't know, I use them in aviation, I use them now. I, they just, whatever they make is pretty top-notch stuff, so. Johnny ZW4CE. It's funny, you guys use our standard SA measurements for everything but the weather. Incorrect. Up in Canada, we use the thing called kilometers per hour. That's our speed. Kilometers is a measurement of distance. Millimeters and centimeters is also a measurement. I'm just a f***ing asshole that doesn't like using metrics, so I use inches and feet. After that, I don't fucking. Your Fahrenheit is fucking confusing. I prefer my Celsius. Fucking bald eagle motherfucker. So, Lucky Lick 123, where did you get the dental drills? Fantastic idea. Upside, thank you for the levity. Downside, I've spent a chunk of money in the past 48 hours since first watching this video. Well, don't watch it too many times. You'll start seeing more and more fucking ways to spend money. All the guys asking about tools in this video, we'll do another video showing you guys them. A lot of them came off the snap-on truck though, so it's pretty easy. One spot shop. Great video guys, says Lewer. Great video guys, you live in a beautiful area. I like that your camera angles show how crammed it is to work on boats. I want to see those toes. Well, too bad. I actually have a camera underneath the desk live streaming my feet right now. No, we do live in a really nice place, I guess. Yeah, we, we work in a lot of cool places. I don't know. I feel pretty lucky to, to live here and work here because, uh, you guys have seen like us going up to like the Hemlock Valley, up the uh, up the Coquihalla Highway, where that other stupid heavy rescue show is filmed. Uh, we're up there all the time. Different areas that's like semi desert, you know. And then we got like rainforests and stuff. Like we got a real a lot of different climates and different places in our immediate area. So if you guys like that scenic stuff. We'll try to get more of it. I always like it. That's like the only pictures I really take on site or when I have like a really cool backdrop, like mountain or something like that. It's all God's land. The Drunken Master, 1787. Tyler has me wanting to be a heavy duty mechanic now. Well, don't think about it. Just do it. It's a great trade to be in. Crushing debt. No f***ing social life. 
the blast at any party you go to because you're venting off steam and frustration, and the women love you because you're amazing with your fingers. And if you're funny enough, the Tecmo guys will come and film you because apparently they're going to California. This one f***ing blows my mind. Ferocious male 6470. Seriously, no naps or coffee breaks. You guys are hardcore. Standard government times equals two pins, two days, one cutting edge, 15 minutes each bolt and outriggers. Hell, call someone in that's not in the job description. Ha ha ha, thanks for another good one. If Buddy's f***ing accurate with those times, I f***ing was very, very cheap to my customer. F he's going to be happy at f***ing hours. I mean, what? Awesome as always. I worked on a lot of heavy equipment. It says Tim HD Wrench. He worked on a lot of heavy equipment, but never a boat. How cramped up did you get working on that Cummins? Down in that hole. It was pretty cramped. Doing anything underneath is a bit of a pain because you can't really see underneath. But if you've ever worked on like boom boats, like logger boats, then you know that like that was, that was way better than working on any boom boat. Boom boats are similar. Engines down in the hull, not nearly as wide. A lot more oil and water in the bottom. I'm in the bottom of those. Usually they're pretty full and you end up having to bilge pump out like six inches to a foot of water and sludge. Or you end up laying in it, so. Go spend your uh, money, snap on his PW PW Hitty P5365. Oh, I'm glad you have an opinion, bud, because uh, like assholes, I don't give a f about yours other than mine. I support a fucking representative of snap on. I'm not supporting the brand. I'm supporting a guy that supports me. That's why I support snap on. If you want to go and bash it, you go ahead and go and bash it. But uh, yeah, I pay a lot more money for my tools. But when I go and break them, I don't have to argue my fucking case for warranty. They just exchange it because I spend a lot of money with them. Uh, Smokestack 9033, Jesus Christ, this guy is almost an exact replica of me and my work partner working on quarry equipment. It has me doing the exact same things with any tools this guy does. Anything as a hammer and any bolt will come out if it's broken or stripped. Yeah, I'm glad you said almost an exact replica because there's no fucking way you could clone me because uh, perfection only happens once, but they broke the mold with me. And yeah, no, I don't care what I do to my tools to get the fucking job done. I will use a fucking... Uh, I've done it actually. I've used my calipers as a fucking wrench or a, a hammer. Anything is a hammer if you try hard enough. It just depends on how expensive you want that fucking hammer to be. The dude 4762. I actually had a question about this. I got some 3.8 semi deep impact sockets. Love them. Yeah, they are fucking tits. And that Milwaukee cutoff wheel is great for cutting TPMS sensors, which you probably don't have to worry about. What the fuck is a TPMS sensor? Tits, pussies, mass scrotums? I know what a TPS sensor bit is. What the f is a TPMS? Is that like f menopause? Why is it so hard to type out the rest of it? I mean, yeah, I f I'm lazy too when I do my work orders, but that's different. Thanks, Brad. You gave Cam a chance to be a pirate, but he just didn't take the opportunity. It says 420 Seal Clubber. I uh, already am a pirate, so. This guy knows his shit and reminds me of Ricky. Again, do I sound like fing Ricky? Please. Uh, everyone f***ing comments my TikTok page saying the same thing. Do I sound like Ricky to you guys, the camera guys? Legit question, f*** you guys. Real mechanics run air. Earl's Speed Shop, 7058. Go play in a 100 foot hole. Tell me how air works that well when you got to drop 150 feet of f***ing airline then drag it back out. Sometimes running electric impacts are nice. Granted, they're sh but they do have a place and a time and place. Lee Reed, 2160. I'm a field mechanic and also a major tool addiction, and I've also had the feeling of zero lube. But my OCD has caused me major issues every time you open a drawer. What's wrong with my organization? I can find everything. It's in the exact last place I look. I know where it is. I just got to find it first. Uh, Chevy underscore no underscore lift. Makes me want to be a, become a field mechanic. Again, just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. And if you're worried about what people are going to think about, you don't. Jesse Williams, 8067. This guy's as cowboy as a mechanic can get. No, I learned from a guy that's more cowboy than I am. And uh, the shit he pulls off is pretty fing cowboy. It actually makes me fing worry some days. Getting learnt with Ricky. Fing Jamie Smith, 5684. Getting learnt with Ricky. Well, bud, fing hold on for a wicked ride. <laughs> Alerica Bre, 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 I don't know, B R E R A 6602. Y'all need to try taking shots every time you hear a beep because he's fucked. Yeah, could you imagine? 
I'd run out of a two six real quick if I listened to myself talk some fing days. I went back and watched the video two and three times. It's like, I don't even remember saying that, but that fing hilarious. Eat, <laughs> eat, sleep, pray, eat, sleep, farm. Uh, it's funny to see how much more comfortable these guys are getting in front of the camera. Been around since the beginning, and it's awesome to see the growth and quality of videos. They've always been awesome, but they're getting awesome. Well, thanks. What's your real name? Preston Field, 6642. We game this guy here in Texas. He's more American than most Americans. Send me my f***ing status card, bud. I'd f***ing gladly move there in a heartbeat. I'd actually might lose weight working in the Texas heat. Hoodie dash XJ2 IV. Is he a mechanic or a comedian? Spit 80% of the video laughing. I don't f***ing know. I have the tools to be a mechanic, but I've cracked jokes more often than I actually pull wrenches. So maybe this is the tech most stand-up f***ing comedian show. Except my clothes stay on this time. Modern Neanderthal, 6970. Absolutely sexy service truck. Miss rolling around in my service truck. Loved having on-demand power and rooter and engine driven on onboard air and having a five-ton crane. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's awesome hearing the love from other field mechanics or ex-field mechanics doing this job. <laughs> Dalton Thiger Thigerson. Instead of colored zip ties, make friends with an operator who digs up a lot of rainbow roots and keep a chunk. They work great. No need for dikes to get <laughs> to get them off. <laughs> yeah, that's that is a good idea. I should go work with the civil crews more often. Wait for them to dig up the telecommunication lines. <laughs> yeah, the only problem is when they dig up them spicy water mains. Those look like they could be deadly. Jesse Fleet Maintenance. This is a real man's mentality right there. Everything is a hammer or anything that is closest to me is a hammer. F***ing rights it is, man. I would use my own steel toe boot as a hammer sometimes and it f***ing hurts. Ozman3217, don't have a Mac guy. Need to get the RBRT stuff. The only thing out there that seems to be liked by every mechanic I've seen. Text Choice Tools. The Grip Edge line, which I'm looking at buying all the remainders of the RBRT stuff through them, the wrenches, Torx bits and, and shit. It's significantly cheaper. Only downfall is if you break it, you gotta ship it off for warranty. So there's that. That's why I'm f***ing lazy and haven't done it yet. There's another option there for you if you wanna buy the RBRT stuff. You can go buy the Grip Edge off of Text Choice Tools off of TikTok. They have a website you can order everything from. James Blattner, 2786. I'd rather hear the word f 777 times rather than a f***ing beep. Well, Sorry. I cuss. Lost fart. Sitch E Asian. L M A O. I love this guy. What is what does L M A O mean? Is that is that another code for another sensor you guys are talking about? You guys with your highfalutin fing words? 499 foot picks. That's Canadian, by the way, so the Americans are getting a pretty killer deal. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, Josh Baker. Joshua Baker. Wanting to quit but not quitting is 100% the secret. That's the secret to life. <laughs> Adam Waller, 1528. Uh, Watching his hat jump every time he raises his eyebrows. I'd be laughing from start to finish. Great video. What are you talking about, bud? The hat never moved once. Dean says, Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. At the 1500 mark, I literally spit out my drink. What happens there? Oh God. <clears throat> oh, holy sh Where is he? Where's Mr. Holy sh You make these jobs look so easy. That had to suck working in such a confined space. Carson, thumbs up, man. Carson wasn't working in confined space. Why are you thumbing him up? Nice job on your first solo. Base solo. I know it's easy when you have experience next to you and when that is absent and you're on your own yeah because it's always out of stress even for simple jobs but you know what sink or swim that's what I always say that's how I was taught we talked about building confidence before right building confidence and like biting off more than you can chew and just getting thrown into the wild and having to survive is the best way to do it because if you die, you're just not meant to be great. But yeah, his first solo job, I think he had done one before that, which just wasn't on camera. A couple here and there, but yeah, we, you know, after a while, start putting them out on easier jobs, putting the guys out on stuff they can handle. I always like to kind of just push the comfort zone. Like, oh, how do you feel about doing a, like a hose? Oh, you know, 
It's, it's pretty easy. Okay, how about a hose on a telehandler then? Go ahead. You know, or hey, how about a how about we get you to do a cylinder? You know, oh, a cylinder's pretty easy. Okay, how about a like a boom cylinder on like a a stick cylinder on like a 349 or something because it's way up there and it's big and stuff like that, right? Like make the guys think out of the box, right? Oh, how about pulling a stick? How about how about splitting a machine or splitting tracks? So you know, those are good first jobs that. Uh, you know, on your, what, the first time you do something like that on your own is a little bit nerve wracking, maybe, you know, splitting tracks is a big one for guys, you know, it might not be a big deal now that you've done them a few times. I remember the first time I had a track job to do, I was like, mm, that's, it's really intimidating, right? You got these giant steel links that are just like pressed together with tons of force and everything's like, you know, I don't, I don't know how, it, how the hell does it come apart? You know, you do a few of them and then you get comfortable with it after a while and it doesn't seem like a big deal, right? Getting guys comfortable on that, it just takes a little bit, a little bit of time, a couple of jobs with somebody and then go out on your own and try it. The world's largest submarine. Oh, I'm sorry. Bagels Garage. One day I hope to be a half as good as you, buddy. Well, if you wish to be as half as good as me, bud, that means that's like digging for the bottom of the barrel because I'm trash. I wouldn't aim to be as half as good as me. Aim to be better. Don't ever aim to be your role model. Aim to be better than your role model. It's like there's that TikTok sound. It's like, oh, that's me. Me in 10 years. Me in 10 years. Me in 10 years. Well, why is it you in 10 years? I strive to be better than I was yesterday. M H M A G N A. You really struggle with some of these fucking names. M H M A G A ad genius you see this is what all the other channels are missing they all put on a professional face and voice oh <clears throat> tech on the other hand censors nothing which is what's gold good on you cam and tyler thanks man i knew someone would like me it just took me fucking seventy thousand fucking followers to get there between tough in my tiktok channel and tech fucking youtube channel kevin rigo 3818 i agree with you 100 percent i've been a field tech for 15 years my boss once told me that I had way too many tools and parts in my truck. I said to him, when I go to a customer, is the job done quickly? He bought me a truck the next year. You lucky motherfucker. My boss won't buy me a bigger truck. He said to make do with what I got. My boss is a fucking fuck, but I guess I am my own boss. But that's the biggest thing. When you can go to a site, get your customer fixed up and going, without having to leave the site with the amount of junk you carry on your service truck is fucking awesome. You feel like a rock star, and that's the best feeling in the world. Zombie 5544 LOL I'm dying over here laughing we need more Taylor comedy I want to see him in the field Who the f is Taylor and where is he hiding? That mother f is trying to take my credit? I'm gonna, f I'm gonna fight him He's my f multi-tools Yeah what's the best makeup for mechanic? I don't know f clutch grease that f does not come off I thought hillbillies were our thing but Canada has them too Unwired 1281 Uh no Canada is the hillbilly capital of the f North Americas bud I mean Inbred is fucking y'all, what y'all have. Yoda Doug's tool and knife. Post the ingrown hairs for proof, you funny money using Canadian. Yeah, where they're ingrown, we can't put it on the camera or Brandon will get too excited. Excuse me. Sorry. Every dollar you spend on FordisHD.com helps Techmo HD make their videos. So buy stuff. Fill up that cart. Christmas is coming. Let's go. Or Hanukkah. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend anybody. Like, good 2023. DC Yamaha Tech. Uh, Tyler needs his own show, lol. He's a blast to watch. I don't have my own YouTube. I don't put anything on here yet. But in the description is my TikTok channel. If you guys want, you can go there and watch all those videos. I try to be more professional on this one. And it's the truck tour, holy f that was hilarious. I counted the beeps. I lost track after 55. I blacked out, I was too f***ing drunk. Triple uh, X, Altex, Triple X. Another winner, guys. I will sit out this giveaway. I got picked for number 55 giveaway. Don't sit nothing out, man. They love giving out f***ing sh for free. So constantly put in the draw. Don't ever sit one out. Who knows, you might enough get enough underwear for the entire week and I'll have to fucking wash. Oh wait, we're not giving out underwear yet, are we? The dirty ones, right? I'm not giving them clean ones.
A little dopey, 87.35. Tyler reminds me of Ricky from Trailer Park Boys if he got his grade 12. Do I f***ing sound like Ricky from Trailer Park Boys? Like, holy f***ing Jesus Christ, boys, this is bullshit. Oh, f***ing cocksuckers. I was thirsty. It's funny, I never actually read a lot of these comments up until now. Mr. Uh, K Nicely 80, Tyler, it's funny I would drink beer with that guy any day. Well, grab yourself a cold one you can drink while I drink in the video. Dallas Taylor 9462. These videos make me want to be a heavy duty mechanic. Gotta learn something from these videos first though. Ha ha ha. Same thing I said earlier. Don't think, just do. If you're in common sense, you never hold a man back. You uh, don't get anything out of life that you don't take a risk for. So spend the money, drop 10 grand, get some tools and go become a mechanic. Don't think about it, just do it. And if someone won't hire you, tell them to go himself, move to the next guy. Someone will let you take a risk on you. Preston Franz in 8675, you mentioned a Abbotsford. I live there in British Columbia. Yeah, I do live in Abbotsford, BC. I don't live very far from the Abbotsford airport, about 10 minutes, something like that. So I am homegrown here. I'm not a transplant, I think. My skin color is the correct for it to be a homegrown. Probably the biggest hammer collection I've seen. Tyler underscore I3166. That's not even all my hammers. I have more in my blue toolbox that the guys haven't done the tour on yet. We're working on that one. I just got to get it dug out and cleaned up a bit so it's not so embarrassing. Zero Simple Sam. Wow, this guy really cares about the environment. Make sure, you, make sure you know that. Yes, I do care about the environment. You only have one of them. You'll never have another one, so you should always respect the environment. Ironically, that's not even my mess. I got to clean that up. Funky Chunky Boy. Not gonna lie, as someone who used to do field mechanic work on a lot of logging machinery and logging trucks, those four-way angle wrenches look like they would have saved me a lot of frustration. The more I know, I also, I'm drilling over your service truck, compartment setup, and tools, top-notch. Thanks, man. But yeah, no, those four-way angle wrenches are the f***ing cat's ass. They are pretty f***ing handy. Got them mostly for hydraulic, but uh, really good for clutch linkages on peats, too. Anything tight area where you can't really swing a wrench or you, you can't get a crow's foot into because the angle, the dangle's all f***ed up. Four-way angle wrenches, man, they're a cat's ass. You can go buy the offset wrenches of other brands, but I'm not a f***ing fan. Levi Smith, 2087. How did an actual mechanic get on YouTube? Keep up the good work. Where the f*** is he? An actual mechanic? F***ing, you're sadly mistaken if you think I'm a mechanic. I'm just some dumb f that's stupid enough to take things apart. Smart enough to hide the spare parts when it goes back together. We care a lot. We do care a little about the, the environment, Philip Jarrett, 398398. We care about everything we do because that's what we do here at TWC is we care about the environment, about my customer's pocketbook, and alcohol abuse apparently too, F Mechanical Elizabeth, ah, true mechanic where the beep is needed just to have a normal conversation. Love this guy. Yeah, I cuss and swear a lot. I'm fancy that way. RJ Brown 90, I really like those red drawers. Yeah, me too, man. That's why I bought them. They're pretty f***ing neat. They make other colors too. I was, I was contemplating pink, that way they match my eyes. Brandon Cool, 155. Am I the only one that realized he changed his hat? LOL. Yeah, I was hoping someone would have picked up on that. I guess you're the only one. But you missed a f***ing key fat too, bud. I changed my sunglasses in that video too. Oh, I got a question for you two. I watched the, that track video. Cam had a technical term. You guys kept bleeping. I'll find it and I'll send, send the clip to you in the group chat. I was, but he's like, yeah, we, we bleep it out all the time. That way no one knows what we're talking about. It's like a saying. Yeah. You do half the saying, then you bleep the rest out. Yeah. The beeping part is. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I was like, what the f is he talking about? Because I've only seen it in the, in the link belt video and I haven't really watched a lot of other cameras videos. Oh, haters going to hate. Makes sense. Because I just read the one where it's like, why do you guys bleep out all these technical terms? Like, well, that reminds me of a question I had for you guys. It's time to get real for a second, guys. <laughs> I'm only interrupting because we were just talking and we got a, a need for guys in our network. We've talked about this. We do our shameless plug every time. Yeah, we're just, we're, we're, we are looking for more guys in, in areas all over. Right now, especially, we're looking for guys in BC and, and Alberta, but all over. And Texas, actually, Texas is another big one, but. I mean, don't be afraid to reach out to us um, no matter where you're at. Join our network. Come along with me. Let's go. Get in the fucking truck. I 
fucking love this guy, JD Mitchell, 8027. Yeah, I love me too. I'm pretty fucking awesome. Mac Point Ponting 6295. Where did you get the flange seal clamps? Heard of them before, but can never find them. Again, we'll do another video explaining those. Only downfall is there's a website you can order them off of, but they never have stock. Fortis uh, parts guy might have a fucking line for them somewhere else. Because Cam was saying he can find aftermarket knock sensors for the cats. So maybe he has a, a route that he could dig through. Because lots of guys ask about him through my TikTok channel too. Lots of guys want them. The only downfall is they are pricey. Uh, Dutch661, is there a video with this guy and Cam doing a job chatting it up? I bet it would be pure comedy. It probably would be. That might be turf for a podcast. The fucking casting couch with a fucking beer in hand. The white casting couch started off as black, now it's white. We don't know how it got that color. You gotta really fight to get up to it, it's kind of sticky. <laughs> Every tool is a hammer, it's 9427. Go get a GMC service truck and see if you talk all that about Ford. Well, the best part about this Ford is I own it, so I can talk as much as I want, but I did run a top kick. Those things are the biggest piece of I've ever seen. If someone runs a top kick, they must have a big bank account because it will constantly break the down and then you're waiting on parts forever and ever and ever. Maybe Fortis HD can hook you up with some fucking aftermarket top kick parts because you can't even get OEM shit now. Ian Coughlin, 6053. What is this man's TikTok? I gotta follow him. Uh, it's in the comment section of all the videos I'm in. The, the description, description. Not in all comment section. I'm used to fucking TikTok where we can only put so much in the fucking, the description. I use all that for hashtags. That way I look like a jack. This definitely has to be Cam's dad. They should do a video of Brian Wade, 3379. Nah, man, Cam's my daddy. Can't you tell with the tooth? Merrick Boyton, 3673. This guy's fucking awesome. This video is sick as shit, mainly because of him. Nah, man, my tool truck tour is sick as shit because of the Tecmo HD editing team. They're pretty fucking dope with their magic. I could see myself being buddies with this dude. Only problem, Canadian. My info, 3406. Yeah, being Canadian sucks. Free healthcare is pretty fucking Zorthomas6497, literally watching one of his TikToks not 20 minutes ago. Great content as always. Cam might have a run for his money for Wrench Daddy. Nah, Cam's always Wrench Daddy. I'm Wrench Poppy. Oi, Poppy. Muy buenos dios. Chimichanga, Brito, por favor. Cerveza. Oh, yeah, septic trucks. Sick, that's dope. That's fing awesome. Zorthomas, that's pretty dope. Uh, this guy's mint. Yes, I am. Didn't know I needed this. Neither did we. Okay, I made it 10 minutes in. This guy's no cam. He needs to stop, stop trying so hard. I'll let you know when I start trying. I never do try, bud. This man is gold and definitely has seen some things, many of which he's likely caused himself. Shiver Elder. Yeah, I have fucked up a lot. That's how you become a really good mechanic is to learn how to hide your fuck ups. You never admit that you fucked up. You just hide it and move on and wait for someone to tell you you fucked up. That's when you own up to it. Not me, 6071. I have a love-hate relationship with the 56-ounce hammer. I was driving in an axle seal and part of the hammer of the driver split and it's still in my leg. You should probably get that taken out. It sounds like it f***ing hurts. If you start cutting it out and use a magnet, it burns. I know that factually. So don't use a magnet to try to get steel out of your f***ing body. P-A-U-N-30. I don't know if that's pawn or poon. Pawn. Hey! What brand tool drawers do you have in the cabinet of the truck? Do you like them? I use the old pinch and pull drawers to open. I don't care for them. Yeah, those are the as sh can be. I fucking hate them too. I ran a truck that has them. Not very fond of them. The ones in my truck are American Eagle. Absolutely love them. Best fucking design. They come out real easy. Well, again, we'll do a bit of a review with those in the next video with the other tools. Just a super handy drawer. They're expensive. You pay for them, but they're not as expensive as you think. Like the big one of all my tools in the number driver side number one cabinet. I think you can buy one for 2800 bucks Canadian, and they're an American company. Yeah, they're not as expensive as you think. I thought five grand for sure, because I want to buy one for the PS1 cabinet passenger side or one. To replicate it was like 2800 or 3200 bucks. This is a couple years ago now, but not as bad as I thought. I figured 5K. Farukas Mail, 6470. I don't usually watch videos from beginning to end, but this one was so interesting I did. Your human passes the time and great video, make more. Thanks, man. I appreciate the comment. That's pretty cool. If this is more of a genuine comment, you would say you became a mechanic or are a mechanic, but you know, I, I guess not everyone can have per perfection in one comment, but it's pretty dope. Thanks, dude, appreciate it. Humor's pretty good. We try to keep it light and fun here because you know, that's what we care about is the environment and shit like that. And alcohol might die. Do I want to live? Maybe. Love the dark Canadian humor. T-W-T-D web S-T-E. Is that supposed to be an S-T-D? This job is depressing, man. 
That's why if you get the fucking threat of like, oh, we're gonna, you're gonna die doing that, it's like, haha, that's not a threat, that's a fucking promise. That sounds like fun. Thanks, man. The Canadian humor is awesome. You should come see some of it firsthand. Somebody else, 836, never witnessed a crane on that side. Yeah, you Americans are fucking weird. I mean, granted, it would be nice to have it on the passenger side because you know, you work on the street a lot, it's on the fucking curb side. So instead of having to turn around and back up to the machine, you can just drive up to it and work right there. Maybe we're the fucked ones. Canadians. Talentio 73. The cat back probes are the way to go. I dislike the ESS or the cheap band probes. Awesome tool collection and truck. Thank you. The ESS probes do have their place. I've seen the kit. It's pretty fucking handy. I kind of want to buy one, but I'm also fucking lazy and don't want to order it. It's like 170 bucks or some shit like that. The cat back probes are pretty fucking generic. They work on a lot of different plugs, not just Deutsch. They work on a lot of shit. You can force it in there. I agree with you though. The cat back probes are the shit. They're not cheap though, but they're worth it. You guys and your fucking weird usernames. User RK7BN8 fucking God 5X Ray. It was FG5X, but we'll go with what I put in there. Glad to see some TWC content here and some in depth tour of the truck. No, you're welcome, dude. I'm glad you came on here and seen the in depth truck tour because I can't do it on fucking TikTok. I have a problem with talking too much and trying to make things funny. So I can't do a very good tour truck tour on the old fucking TikTok. Mr. R31 Power, does this guy have his own channel? I would subscribe in an instant. Again, in the description. Description, right? Yes. The description, yeah, I got him. I'm getting it, Brandon. I'm slowly figuring this YouTube thing out. One of these days I'll fucking be smart enough to upload a video. They have linked for me my TikTok and Instagram channel. I don't have anything much cool on the Instagram channel. I keep it all on TikTok. Go give that a follow if you want to see some funny shit. Jan5014, I definitely need to see some more of that gorgeous Bernese. I need to get one of those for my truck. Cool. Here. Uh, come on. There you go. There's the OG Bernie's. He's the therapy dog. He helps me get through the day because he's a good boy. And he's a big floof. Osman 3217. How do you get by with having your wrenches all tossed in a drawer? I say that as mine take up three drawers trying to keep them in order, so I kind of get it. I can't stand losing shit. Um, I don't. It drives me fucking nuts when I have to dig for an uncommon wrench and it's buried at the fucking bottom. So I gotta take all my metric wrenches out and put them in the standard section to find the fucking wrench, bail everything back over, then fucking have all the common wrenches I use at the bottom and it's all mixed matched and fucking. It's irritating. I don't like it. Space is a premium on a service truck. You need as much as you can get, so my shit just gets fired into drawers. The only thing that I like to have is organized as much as I do are my sockets because I couldn't stand fucking digging for that shit. And a lot of the time on this stuff, you don't need a wrench and a socket. It's all like pretty much threaded inserts and shit like that. So you get away with just impacts and, and sockets. It's very rare you need to dig out a wrench. All right, guys, that's all I got for the comments. There's lots on there I couldn't read. I do appreciate you guys commenting. It's pretty cool to see the support and the love for the channel. That's awesome, guys. Again, yeah, thank you for commenting. Keep up supporting the channel. Help these guys grow because what they're doing behind the scenes is pretty dope. I agree with what they're doing. That's why I'm here. But uh, you guys have a great day. And remember, God loves you. Because um, I sure as f*** don't. Oh, f***. I'm getting old. <coughs> YouTube and their ads, man. I came here to watch f cool, cool informational videos to be a better mechanic. And here we are watching f ads. I want to see how Tecmo f fixes shit so I can go do it later on. They can film me. Force HD, baby! We sell rubber tracks, Rotex, bearings, wheels, I don't know, other shit. ForceHD.com. We sell the most random fucking stuff ever.